scene for minor injuries um, and uh, wasn't transported. So at this point, uh, on behalf of Peel Paramedics and the Region of Peel, I wanted to express my sincere condolences for the family and for everyone who's been affected by this tragedy. Samansky, S Z Y M A N S K I. All right, the update from uh, Peel Regional Police and Paramedics of Patrick Brown, the mayor of Brampton, tweeting a short time ago, updating, he says the ages of the three deceased children tragically confirmed to be 15, 12, and 9 years old. No words can adequately describe the enormity of this loss. No words do justice. Our community grieves with this Brampton family, their friends, and relatives. All right, uh, our Steve Ryan is at that scene, and uh, we will go to Steve again. Uh, Patrick, to this afternoon as well. Two people are dead after a two alarm fire broke out at home on Gladstone Avenue, east of Dufferin. Crews did pull two people from the house just before seven last night. A woman in her 90s, though, was pronounced dead on the scene, and then a man who was sent to hospital with life threatening injuries has since died. The two uh, occupants were the only two people in the building at the time. Uh, our crews uh, did a fantastic job uh, getting in uh, to that building. I was here last evening. Uh, I've been inside the structure and I've seen the damage. And I spoke to the uh, incident commanders last night and in the, in the incoming crews. And I can tell you uh, they faced a significant uh, uh, challenge last night uh, under very difficult uh, heat conditions. Obviously, the weather. Um, you know, it does not make it comfortable uh, fighting fires uh, uh, or, or performing rescues as we did last night um, uh, uh, with this weather. But at the end of the day, this is what our team has signed up for. Also, Toronto's Fire Chief Massey Pegg offering his condolences to the families of last night's fire. As always, our Toronto firefighters give their all to save lives and at times place themselves in harm's way in the performance of their duties especially during rescue. I would like to acknowledge and thank our extraordinary Toronto paramedics, along with the nurses and doctors in hospital who treated our injured firefighters. I'm relieved to report that each of our firefighters have been treated and released, and we are sincerely thankful for that. Toronto fires has a recent string of fires in the city is a good reminder for everyone to ensure that they have working smoke alarms in their home. Opeel homicide detectives are investigating after a man and woman <clears throat> were found dead in a residential Brampton neighborhood overnight. Officers found the pair suffering from apparent gunshot wounds in or near a vehicle near Worthington <clears throat> and there. Both were pronounced dead on scene. At this point, police are saying little else about the situation or whether they're still looking for suspects. <clears throat> Investigators are canvassing the neighborhood for any witnesses. They say there should be surveillance cameras in the area which could help in their investigation. If you have any information, call police or Crime Stoppers. In Toronto, police are investigating a deadly shooting in East York. Officers were called to an apartment building on Gamble Avenue near Payton Cosburn overnight. They found a man with life-threatening injury. Paramedics said the victim was then pronounced dead on scene. At this point, no word from police on any suspects.